All right. Um, hi everyone. I'm going to be I'm going to talk briefly about the weight cases component within the SPSS. It's a very important uh, component or function that you should know uh, while using SPSS for statistical analysis. And uh, not to get too much into the details, abstract details. Let me show you an example of uh, what cases are. Uh, weight cases are as you can see i have uh, three variables here or three uh, columns of, of data a subject which is a string uh, gender which is a string and a success um, indicator or index which is a numeric uh, data type so uh, as you can see uh, we have uh, uh, character or string data for subject which is a string data type same thing with gender and then numerical data for success index so the way it works is that for categorical data or categorical arrays or variables if you don't select a or if you don't assign a weight which is assigning a numerical data or numerical data variable to your categorical variable what SPSS does is SPSS knows or quantifies the categories in other words SPSS counts the, the frequencies of each of these uh, two columns. Let me give you an example of how that works. So let's say right now uh, I don't have any weight assigned to none of these two categorical variables, and I'm going to run a, a descriptive uh, a frequency uh, on one of these variables, let's say on subject. And I'm going to uh, uh, create a frequency dis distribution table, a uh, uh, frequency table. Click on OK, and let me just move the screen over to the side. And as you can see, uh, we have uh, we have uh, two frequency or two uh, data points for medical science, and two uh, uh, frequency or two uh, uh, data points for social science. So what does that tell us? As I said earlier, that SPSS is counting the frequency of each of these records here. And instead of counting the weight or quantitative measure that's assigned to each of these categories. So in such cases, especially in surveys where you have a categorical uh, uh, variable and then you have numerical variables that are actually associated with that specific category. And so when you bring those survey data over to SPSS, and if, and if you don't use the weight case feature, then it will be difficult because you will only be looking at the most you can get out of a category, category is count or maybe mode and some basic statistics. But when you assign weight to it, when you assign the uh, numerical uh, attribution to it, then you can actually do more than that. So let me now give you an example of how to do that. So the weight assignment or weight cases is pretty much on the data toolbar go to it and click on weight cases and as you can see um, SPSS automatically tells us that there is a, a numerical variable called success index that's available that we can assign as a weight so we can go ahead and assign this as a weight to uh, our uh, uh, data, data set and then we click on OK and once we do that in the background in the back end where SPSS runs a series of codes and commands that the success index variable has automatically been assigned as an attribute to both of these categories. And now let me demonstrate how that works. So let's go ahead and run the same frequency uh, analysis on let's say the sum subject. Press, press on OK. And as you can see, the numbers have automatically changed from two for medical science to 90 and for social science from two to one to, to 80 which is what which is the sum of these two medical science and this record and medical science on this record same thing for the social science so there is um, some sort of aggregation that's happened here which is the summation of these two categories and let's say if we didn't have those categories, let's say we only had, um, let's say we only had one medical science and one social science, and you run the same frequency distribution, frequency uh, table analysis, and you would see. Now, 
the frequency or the success index, which is the weight attribution of this category is 40 and social science is 50. And same thing if you want to do for the gender. So let's go to analyze, let's go to statistics and frequencies and let's bring the gender over and press on okay. Same thing for the females, it's 40 and for the males, 50. I, in this video, uh, I just want uh, you guys to understand that uh, assigning a weight case uh, to a, a numerical attribution to categorical uh, variables help us to look at the numerical attributes of categories, just like we saw in the case of gender and subject. In, the, in later videos, you will see the actual use of weight cases when we are uh, when we are creating two by two cross tasks on the, when we are doing advanced um, analytics such as chi square tests or um, relative frequency tests, those kind of tests. But this is the most basic use of a weight case that uh, you need to be, that you need to know. So I hope that this video uh, uh, is helpful to you. Until next time, thank you.